some noise for Jessica Alanis. So I've never been to a show where we start with the Guico. Like that was cool. Because <laughs> I was in the back, like I'm not doing that. Not. Absolutely not. I tried once when I was little, and everybody was like, "Oh, that was cute." And never again. Never again, dude. And how brave of you! What was your name again? Andres came out here by himself. No way. Never. Never would I ever. Dude. Never would I ever. I am from. I'm from. You're from McAllen. I'm from San Antonio. From San Antonio, Texas. Dude, I grew up thinking everybody was Mexican. Like I didn't realize there were other options. I mean, not in this place, right? But everywhere else, I was like, what? Like literally, because we all grew up with the same culture, right? In Texas, South Texas, everybody's like, you got quesadillas, you eat tacos, you don't know your dad. Like you all have that same culture, right? And I, I realize I look entitled and like I say, ooh, I got a skedaddle. <laughs> like, I didn't, like, he, like, he probably said more Spanish words than I'll ever say in my life, to be honest. Like, people look at me and they're like, she loves pumpkin spice lattes. Like, that is her vibe. I get it. But, dude, man, I got here and people just started talking to me about their chakras. And I thought they were saying chanclas. I was like, what? <laughs> I want to be more Mexican though, I really do. So I try, like I'll, wear, I'll do things like wear my hair curly, wear hoop earrings, cause that's the uniform, you know? I mean, me and the DJ both got our hoops on. You know, I say and shit at the end of my sentences. Dude, I even spent a night in jail once cause I'm that committed to being a part of the culture, you know what I mean? I did. I, I spent one night in jail. It was just one, because I'm not that Mexican, you know? One night in jail. I got a DWI when I was in college. Dude, that shit was expensive, man. I do not recommend college at all. My God. My God. Still paying for that mistake. Are you kidding me? Jail, on the other hand, is not that bad. Not that bad. Like, yes, they take away your rights, your freedom, your privacy, but like, that's just being a woman in Texas, right? You're like, this feels like home. This is cozy. I like this. I was like, is that right here? Yeah. Women shouldn't make decisions. This is good. This is good. I like that. I didn't mind it so much. Yeah. But it was a different time. It was. It was before they had Uber and Lyft, you know? When you had to have designated drivers whose like responsibility for the night was to stick to Bud Light. Like that was a different time. It was a different time for us. Earlier today, I was walking and some guy was like, hey, you look like you babysit. I was like, that's a weird way to say I look unemployed. I don't know. I'm like, I didn't, is that what I'm giving off? I didn't get it. He wasn't wrong, though. I am unemployed. So I was like, you should buy a lottery ticket. That was a good, good judgment. Good judgment there. I am unemployed right now, uh, which is fine. It's not bad. I, just, I hated, though, that none of my friends felt bad for me. None of them. I told them, I was like, I got latte. And they're like, don't, you hated that job. But listen, I hated that job the same way married women hate their husbands, right? Like, yes, I'm going to cry and bitch and complain about it, but I wasn't gonna leave, you know? Like, I wasn't gonna leave, I need dinner. And like, who's gonna pay for stuff? Not, you know, like, I need the money. It's dumb, you know? I did hate that job, but it, it, it was fine. Every time I talked about it, it was good, but when they talked shit about it, I was like, Shh, watch your mouth, okay? You don't know them like I know them, okay? They pay for it, so it's fine. It's fine. I, uh, I am unemployed, which means I'm a, I am a good babysitter. I'm not, I don't babysit for other people except for my siblings, which is such a Mexican thing to do, right? Like, we're just like I'm the, for free, I'll go, okay. My siblings are like, you're single, you're unemployed, you can come. I'm like, yeah, I'll go. I did that. I was babysitting my nephew the last other week, and I don't have kids of my own. I don't, because I'm not that nice. I don't have kids of my own. I think you all have kids, right? Multiples, I'm assuming. I know my people. I know my people. Uh, no, I was babysitting my nephew, and like, I'm not qualified to be a babysitter. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, 
I'm kind of like the uh, the Donald Trump of babysitting. Like I am not qualified for the job by any means, by any means. But I've managed to convince people that I can do it, so they keep asking me to show up. I knew it was easy to convince my siblings I'm a good babysitter. I just had to say a few like key words, you know, like listen to your mom, like, don't put that in your mouth. It's literally just the thing they tell me when I go on a first date. That's all. I, just, I said it back to them. I was like, this is what your kids should learn, right? Dude, going on a, the, babysitting a two-year-old is similar to going on a first date, right? Like, you want to be fun and friendly, but like not too fun so they still take you seriously, you know? But you gotta set boundaries so they don't run over you later. And right at the end of the day, like, you're sticky and you're like, hey, why did you put that in your mouth? And they're like, I fell into her ice cream, I'm sorry. You're like, what? What happened? What happened? Oh. I am, uh, maybe it's uh, at the end of it, though, honestly, I was like, dude, this is hard. Maybe we should put kids in cages. Maybe we should. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god, I am single right now. That's fun. It's a good time. It's fun. I'm like walking around Boyle Heights. I'm like, these are my people. Who is single? Who's getting off the bus? Like, that's my guy. I, just, I love this. This is San Antonio in a little neighborhood, and I'm obsessed. Um, <laughs> I am single. I don't mind being single. I don't mind it. I genuinely want to be in a relationship, though. I do. I do. You know, because I want, I want a husband. I want to have kids. I want divorce. Like I want it all. <laughs> I want the whole package. I want it all. I, I'm a babysitter. You know what I mean? I get it. I want it, but like it's hard. It's hard to trust people. It's hard to trust people, and that's my issue. Because like you know what? I had a friend I'm talking about me. I had a friend who dated a guy for four years, still me, four years, he cheated on her, got the other, listen, got the, got the other girl pregnant, and then broke up with me, I mean my friend, he broke up with my friend, right, like how sorry for her, mm. you know, what I see that, right, okay, so, but it was at the beginning of the pandemic, when everybody was like, stay safe, and he was like, you know what, I don't like condoms, not for me, not for me, you know? They were like, do not come outside. And he was like, I only come inside other women, and that's it, that's all. I know, I know. Uh, fine. I mean, that's the story about me, right? Like, it was never gonna work out, it was never gonna work out. I'm a Libra, he's a cheater, like, it was never gonna be a thing, we were never gonna, you know? I lived in Chicago and he lived in other women's houses. It was all, it was never gonna work out. It was never gonna work out. I do, people like to give me advice too. They're like, you know what? My mom, she's like, maybe go back to church. Maybe go back to church. Yeah, and I, you know what? I am Catholic, because I am that Mexican. I'm Catholic. So I do go to church on Holy Days of Obligation, right? So I'll go on Christmas, on Easter, when I'm late for my period. Those are the days I'm going to pray. Like, well, Jessica, you gotta change the guys you date. Like, you need to date a CEO, you know? Someone who drives a Tesla. Oh, and, like, wow. yeah, they, like <laughs> they got high standards for me. They want me to date somebody who knows the difference between affect and effect, too, you know? Someone who can spell Wednesday without saying Wednesday. Like, that's, the, that, that's what they want me to date. I'm like, not I don't know. I've never been in the neighborhood, I don't know. Do you guys know somebody? Do they know how to spell Wednesday? That would be great. Because the guys I date, the guys I date are guys who, uh, they'll join the military to help pay for college. But by college, they mean child support. That's my guy. That's my guy. You know, someone, they don't have, they don't have Teslas, but they have BMWs, uh, big Mexican weenies. That's <laughs> You know exactly, you see them going to the Dodger game, dude. They've got the like old Honda Civics where the hood of the car is a different color than the rest of the car. Like, that's my guy, you know? I don't know what it is. There's just something about a guy getting out of a Tesla in a suit that I'm like, oh, you probably signed the back of your credit card. Gross. No, I don't like that, you know? Like, I thought if I, like, he cheated on me, he'd be like, you know what, we're gonna have to circle back on that. 
well, then a guy getting off the bus? I'm like, that is my guy. What route is that? Like, I'm driving next to him. I'm like, do you want my car? It doesn't matter. Hold on. I don't know. Uh, let's see what else do I have. I think, I don't know, it was good timing for the light. Um, <laughs> oh, no, 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 I, I will say this. I am unemployed. People's, people's biggest concern about being unemployed is like, what are you going to do for money? And I got to figure it out, you guys. I'm going to start getting uh, money, like residuals, like actors do, from all the guys that I've dated. Like, if you see me naked and thought about it after, <laughs> pay me, okay? <laughs> pay me. Like, imagine, like, the guys I sent new photos to who still have it in their phone, like, they don't have to delete it, dude. Just send me a monthly riches total. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. And I know some people are like, I, well, you would send nudes. Don't do that. And those people have dads. So that makes sense for them. That makes sense for Because they're like, what if it ends up online and then you can never do things like run for political office? And I'm like, I have a, an arrest record and a punch card in Planned Parenthood, dude. Like, that's not, not the thing that's taking me out. <laughs> you know? And they're like, well, what if he like shares it, shows his friend? What if he shows his friend? I'm like, I'm single and I'm unemployed. Okay, like consider it a business card. I mean, I, I work off referrals. Thank you so much. All right, I gotta spit out.